Welcome back to Broken Bobby's transformation page. Today, we're gonna do a tweaker tale. Uh, this is an Anaheim story, Orange County. Um, as per request from a viewer, Sean, shout out to you for the request. So uh, if uh, you're new to the page, please follow, subscribe, depending on the platform you're watching on. Hit that like button, leave a comment. The feedback is great. I appreciate it. Uh, so, like I said, this is an Anaheim story. So, this was probably around 2000, I want to say. And uh, I had Anaheim sewed up pretty good. Uh, I had a my main spot. I, I wasn't living down there, but uh, I kept everything away from the house. So, um, this in Anaheim, the main spot was on Lincoln and Magnolia. Uh, I think there was like a Ted's Burgers or something over there and there was an apartment building back there. And for the st sake of the story, we'll call uh, the guy there Jojo. And uh, there's another character, we'll call him Big Man. He was uh, security, for lack of a better word, at that spot. So um, things started branching out uh, internal conflicts with Jojo and some of the people that he had uh, helping him out. So uh, there was a, ended up with another spot. I think it was, uh, the, I think it was called the Lincoln Inn, uh, a couple miles down the road. It was uh, uh, like long-term hotel rooms, but like people were living there, uh, paying monthly or whatever. Uh, if this was a little east of the spot on Lincoln and Magnolia, if uh, if I got that wrong, put it in the comments and let me know so I can make the correction. But um, this the guy that was running that spot, uh, we're gonna use his real name. His real name was Chris, and the reason we're gonna do that is because uh, he's a snitch. <laughs> Fuck him. You know, like, uh, so anyways, then there was a third spot a little further down on Magnolia near the 57. And for the, for this story, we'll call him Quer Cuervo. So we had all three spots going. Uh, I would say at that time, chances are, if you were buying meth in Anaheim, you were probably getting it from us. Uh, we had it locked up pretty good. So, um. You know, I was going through, and uh, what I would do is I would stop through about daily, I would say, to maybe the, the Lincoln Inn and the, the other spot with Cuervo, maybe every couple days, I'd stop through and uh, drop something off. But most of the volume was coming from uh, Lincoln and Magnolia with JoJo and Big Man. But uh, on this particular day, uh, I had stopped through with Jojo, took care of business there, and the next stop was with Chris. So I go through and drop off with Chris, and like I said, he's picking up maybe every couple days or so, you know, uh, three, four hundred dollars worth. Uh, we'll just leave it at that. But so I stopped through, and I see Chris. And Big Man was hanging out over there, too. He's partying with some females or something. And, you know, I take care of business, you know, business as usual, or so it seemed. And I start heading back towards the freeway because Cuervo didn't need anything on this particular day. So we'll get him next time to heading back out to San Bernardino area, which is where my residence was at that time. And... Uh, as I'm heading back up to the freeway, cell phone rings, and it's Chris, which was a bit unusual, but, you know, I take the call, hey, what's going on, Chris? And keep in mind, when we talk on the phone, everything was coded, you know, you never said anything direct, you didn't say, hey, do you have any more of that speed or something like that, you know? But on this particular day, 
that's exactly what he said. He said, hey, uh, hey, Rob, you know, do you have any more of that speed? You know, I got $500. And I had just left there, so this was very unusual. So, uh, you know, I tell him, hey, you know what? Uh, reception isn't very good. Let me get back with you. You know, I don't want to have this conversation on the phone because something ain't right. Red flags are going up and, you know, I'm like, what the hell is this guy doing? Something's up. So I get off the phone. I refuse to have that conversation like that. And not even two minutes later, big man's blowing up my phone. And he's like, hey, uh, did you hear ATF just kicked in Chris's door? And I'm like, motherfucker, like, I should have knew that. But, uh. So, okay, good looking out, big man. I appreciate the info. So, uh, as it turns out, apparently ATF, Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, which is a federal agency, had raided Chris for something totally unrelated to me. Uh, apparently, he had an illegal shotgun or something, and how he got on their radar, I have no idea. Somebody was probably snitching on him, too. But... Um, you know, you know um, it's funny, and I tell this story to stress that, you know, it's not an honorable profession. It's not easy money, as people put it. It's really far from that because you're constantly looking over your shoulder, and you have to worry about everybody that you make contact with and who you deal with. So... Uh, you know, I guess the message of the day is it's better to not use drugs or be involved with drugs in any way because what many people consider to be easy money really isn't. It's It was so stressful doing that. Yeah, you know what? You party, you think you're having a good time and all this stuff, but uh, it only lasts for a season. And eventually you're gonna end up in handcuffs or dead. You're probably more lucky if you do end up in handcuffs. So, uh, yeah, I guess the point I'm trying to make is you, you know, there's no one you can trust when you're doing that kind of business. Yeah, the money comes fast, but the money goes fast as well. So uh, it's really not worth it. It's better to just uh, pursue education, pursue, you know, find a trade school or something, find a good job. And, uh, you know, going to jail and all that stuff is for the birds. So uh, I will try to get a video up uh, on the fitness and the workout later on. I'm going to be hitting the gym here shortly. So, like I said, like, subscribe, drop a comment, share this video to someone else who you think might like it. I would greatly appreciate that. And uh, don't look at the mountain. Just start climbing.